Hey, it's me. Today is a makeover. But, 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 for the first time ever, there's a theme. Does this tell you anything? How about this? 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 How about this? Yes, it's a Christmas slash winter themed makeover, but it clearly says that in the title, so you already knew that. Now to introduce the victims. Today, I'm gonna use squishies from my own personal collection. <gasps> I ordered a bunch of squishies specifically for makeovers back in the day, but then I got caught up with all the squishies that you guys sent me, so I kind of forgot about them. But today, they're gonna get the attention they deserve. So victim number one. It's a deer. This is so cute. How am I gonna paint over this? Yeah, it's still cute, but at this point, it's ready for a makeover. Next. Ah, this little guy. I'm on top of the world, yeah. He's so innocent looking. Look at that little butt. Hey! And finally, this, uh, money bag. Hey. I don't, I don't know, what, why did I buy this? I don't know, I don't even know, what is this? Let's move on to squishy roasting. So, this deer, it seems to be a galaxy themed deer, and since I've been using this one a lot, its head is ripping. The design is so cute, but something about those eyes, I don't know, they're kind of like alien, kind of freak me out. Well, it is galaxy, kind of makes sense. I get the galaxy thing, you got the purple, you got the blue, you got the stars, but what are these blue chunks? What are they? Those have always bothered me. Let's get started. First, I need to sand this puppy because fabric paint needs texture, so we sand to make texture. This can be a very unpleasant experience for the squishy. <laughs> it's not funny, she's suffering. Now that she's all sanded up, it's time for fabric glue. So I'm gonna apply the glue to the ripped area and use a rubber band to keep pressure on it. Once it dries, take it off. Other than that, it looks pretty good. As cute as it may be, I'm going to remove this bow because I'm turning this into Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so we're gonna ditch the bow. Maybe, just maybe, the bow will make a comeback later in this video. So I'm just trimming up the area where the bow was to make it look as normal as possible and then throwing on a coat of puffy paint to help blend it in with the rest of the squishy. And while I'm at it, I'll fill in the neck crack as well. Now we are missing one thing because this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Of course, I mean the nose. <gasps> Spoiler alert, you weren't supposed to see that yet. I'm making his little nose out of some memory foam. Apply some glue to stick it on. Now I'm going to seal it on with paint, but then I decided, eh, I don't really like the way the nose looks with the muzzle and the shape. It's just, uh, I ripped that thing off and then I trimmed off the muzzle area to try to flatten out the face, and ooh. I thought it looked bad before, but yikes. I'm scared. Here we go, making nose 2.0. Look how close I am to chopping off my finger. Okay, I'm gonna attach his nose, which I believe is a bit smaller than the first one I made, so free nose job. And I'm gonna cover the entire face with paint to try to get rid of that old facial structure. <laughs> Oh. Now it's painting time with a nice shade of reindeer brown, and that's definitely gonna need a couple coats to get nice even coverage. And now to paint over the head and the ears. Great, wonderful, oh. <laughs> I decided to put on a really thick coat of paint with a popsicle stick to try to get rid of those weird oval eyes that were just haunting me. Now that the face is mostly flat, I'm going to apply a couple thin layers to smooth out the surface a little bit more. Yeah, it's still a little chunky, but you know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna paint his white chest and his mustache. <laughs> no, his uh, little white reindeer markings and his tiny little ant antlers and his ears. Wait, no, I don't really like the brown in the ears. I'll fix that later. Back to his tiny little antlers. No offense, dude, but those are really small antlers. I'm sorry. Wait, this thing was supposed to be a girl. Why does it have antlers? Female reindeer also grow antlers. 
Okay. Anyway, time to clean up all my messes. I painted the inner ears white this time, and I think that looks more correct, because, you know, obviously we're going for accuracy here. I'm painting his little hooves with a nice dark brown, and now time to cook up the perfect red color for his nose. You think he got enough paint in there? His nose isn't that big. Here we go. Now, why exactly does Rudolph have a red nose? Is he okay? Is nobody else really concerned? about this. Is this some sort of illness? Something ain't right. Anyway, I'm gonna give him some rosy cheeks and finally painting on his eyes and some final little details. I don't know about how big of an improvement this was because honestly, I think I like the original design equally as much, but I do appreciate that his head is fixed now and you know, still, it is Rudolph, it is cute, it is Christmas, and he went through a lot of surgery for this face, but I'm not 100% satisfied with it. I think his eyes are maybe a little too small. His smile's a little crooked, and apparently he's got girl antlers. I'm really worried that all the other reindeer will laugh and call him names. <laughs> He's already been through that once, okay? Leave him alone already. La, 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 la. I am still a little concerned about his nose condition. Okay, on to the next. I have this little bear, and I've been using this squishy for months, but not too much has happened to it. He does have a little bruise, which is actually from being in a bin with another squishy that had a metal ball chain on it. Keep your balls. I mean, your, your ball chains to yourself, sorry. He does have a slight shoulder tear, and the only other tear that I know of is... Um, but yeah, the design is obviously very simple, nothing too special. I think we can improve this. First step, stop squishing everything. I'm gonna cut a strip of memory foam. Oh, B, no. Okay, it's time to leave now. Come on. No, Opie, come on. Cut a strip of foam, and this is gonna be a little hat. What? Just trust, okay? Cut another strip so it goes all the way around. Now for fabric glue. Apply that across his head, glue it on, and the back, glue it on. Aww, he looks so cute with a little sweatband. It's a hat! Now I'm just gonna trim up the edges and smooth out any of the little rough areas, corners, whatever. And I'm gonna take some puffy paint and seal all the pieces together, filling in the cracks and holes and making it one nice solid piece. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting the body white because he's a polar bear. So this this squishy is not necessarily Christmas themed, but he is winter or cold weather themed, and his ears are gonna be poking out of his hat, so I have to paint those white also beautiful. Finally, we can get started on this hat of his, and I'm going with a nice icy blue color, an arctic blue, if you will. <laughs> I don't know, what is arctic blue? Hey, pretty close. And now I'm painting the rim of the hat a darker blue and getting all up in there, all those little crevasses all the way around. Okay, and by now I've made an absolute mess of this, so it's cleanup time. So let me get all the paint back in its place. Get your head back in its place. Thank you. Now with his hat on, he looks uh, very naked. So I'm gonna give him a little sweater. I'm going with the darker blue for his sweater. Check the holes with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. I'm back. Did you miss me? Um, actually, it's better when you don't talk. Oh. Okay. And now I'm gonna add some light blue trim to really bring it all together. I mean, this is an outfit right here. Now I'm adding some rosy cheeks and give him a little gray muzzle, some pink ears, and I really loved the original face on this one, so I'm just gonna keep that the same. Okay. Well, the original one couldn't stand, so I had to do the little turny thing by hand, okay? I'm very happy with this makeover. I think it's a huge improvement. Aww. Everyone falls down sometimes. I think the new version is so cute and has a lot more style, you know? Also, I didn't have a polar bear squishy, so I'm very happy to have this one. His hat does look familiar, though. Kind of like... <laughs> 
great. Same color scheme, but it is a different style. I'm very glad his hat and sweater will keep him warm in those brutal arctic winters. What's that? It's the abominable snow monster. Oh wait, it's my cat. Again. Finally, the money pouch. Again, why did I buy this? I don't know. But it does have a great squish to it. Let me tell you. Mm. The top is looking a little disheveled and we have some ripping around here. The brand is a reedy and the bottom is quite ugly. I don't know what happened there. It just came like that. So to start, I'm going to again sand it until the entire surface is covered in tiny little tears. Now I'm gonna clean up those unsightly seams. I'm breaking out the memory foam because I'm gonna add some fur trim to this bag. And if you don't know what I'm turning this into yet, you need to get in touch with your Christmas spirit. I'm just gonna fiddle around with that, trim it up so it looks less ridiculous, pop open my fabric glue, hello! Stick it on there, snag a rubber band to secure it or two, let that dry and voila, you have a half fur trimmed money bag. Here's the other half of the trim. We gotta somehow match these up and then trim off the excess and we're gluing and dropping and sticking and there. The trim is on, but it looks a hot mess. So I'm gonna go around and trim the trim, trim trim, to even it up and make it look, you know, nice-ish. Hooray, trim is done. It looks good, but you know what this needs? Some little pom-poms. So I shaped some little tiny balls out of foam. This is now four total little foam balls that I've shaped in this video, counting Rudolph's first failed nose job. I realize I could have used like actual pom-poms, but no, I'd rather do this. This is just, you know, a lot more fun. Okay, make sure your balls are even. <laughs> Yeah, and glue those on, but the top of the bag now looks so empty. I'm gonna bring in some friends to help. So we have this bear cone and his face is completely printed in the wrong spot. Well done. Let me get rid of all this nonsense coming out his head. I'm just gonna shove a little piece of foam in there, snip off the excess, seal that in with some paint. Oh, you got a little paint booger there. Just, okay. That's fine. And now this little chocolate bar, which is absolutely adorable and there's not a thing wrong with it. That little thing was really stuck in there, so I just decided to snip off the top and cover the scar. Huh. Okay, back to the bag. Now that everyone is dry, I'm gonna start situating them into the bag. Did I say it's Santa's bag yet? No? It's Santa's bag. So I'm gonna glue them in place in there. There we go. Now I'm gonna fill in all the gaps with paint, seal all the little holes up in the memory foam, repair the tears, and start trying to cover up that dollar sign. Now this bear is looking a little basic. I'm gonna use this bow. <gasps> The bow is back. Let me just glue that on, secure it with paint, throw on another coat over the dollar sign, and finally it's time for more paint. So I'm gonna slap some white paint over the white details, obviously being very careful to stay in the lines. No, for right now, neatness doesn't matter since I'm gonna go over it anyway, so it's fine. And now time for the blood. No, no. It's a nice Christmas red and it's beautiful. I feel like I don't use red that often in my regular makeovers unless it's on a cherry, but it's nice, I, I like it. And now to paint all around the little white details, which was just very, very tedious. I felt like I spent an entire lifetime painting in all those little tiny areas. And then of course I had to do it over again for the second coat. This Santa bag squishy originally in my head was gonna be super simple. I was just gonna do a red bag, white trim, and that's it, call it a day. Oh, what have I done? This is a crime scene. But then I saw this squishy online. <laughs> 
and I was just like, uh, no, we gotta take this up a notch. So that's when I decided to add all of this stuff on the top. I'm gonna go with a more traditional chocolate color for the chocolate bar, cause that's just gonna look better with my overall color scheme and a nice caramel color for the bear. It's just supposed to be like a teddy bear, but it looks suspiciously edible to me. Now we're ready for some metallic. I'm making the candy wrapper metallic. It's supposed to look kind of like a foil wrapper, you know? And then I'm adding little metallic green accents to both of them, finally cleaning up that crime scene and adding a very simple little face to the bear. No fuss, no mouth, just keeping it simple. And here is the final result. I'm super happy with this one. I think it turned out really cute, very Christmassy, of course. I'm really glad I ended up adding the stuff coming out of the top because I think it would have been a bit plain without that and this definitely makes it more interesting and that squish, mmm, it's still got it. I hope you guys enjoyed this special episode of Squishy Makeovers. I've never done a themed episode before because for the most part I like to have variety in each episode but I thought it would be a nice change to do a theme for once. Thank you so much for watching. Monday's video is going to be an announcement so if you don't care about that kind of thing. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.